The next problem statement is to find factorial of a given number using non void function using non void function without parameters. Whenever we say non void function without parameters other than void you can use any of the data types like int, char, float, double. You can use any of these data, uh, data types as part of the return type. So here the return type of this we are going to change as int, int factorial. So non void means other than void you can use char, int, float, double any of these data types. So here I am changing this return type to int factorial of the given function without parameters. So there are no parameters which are passed within this function and here we are going to call the same same uh, factorial value. So let me call only twice I am just uh, commenting this. So here it means whenever we say int factorial there is a possibility that that value can be written back to the function. So what I will do is I will try to print the value of this factorial so within this main function. So the factorial the factorial of percentile d is percentile d. So here I am going to take the values of n and I am going to take the value of f. So here these variables must be initialized in the global declaration section. If we initialize these variables in the global declaration section you can use this identifiers within the main as well as within the user defined function section. So once again I am repeating just watch very closely. The first one is function prototype, first one is function prototype, return type, function name, no parameters within this that is why we call it as non void function without parameters. Next int i f equal to 1 n, here I am going to take uh, the factorial calling function and this function will go to this uh, function definition part it will execute all this piece of code and here I want to print this value in the main so I am commenting this. Now here what is the value I should return whenever I say int followed by the function name so it can return some value back to the function and here the return type should be changed as int. So these are the changes which we have made as part of the code so I will delete these comment lines. So your code will be like this. So this is how your code will be there. Okay. So this is the code for finding a factorial of a given number using non void function without parameters. So it is non void function without parameter. Let me execute this code and show you how it works. So here the semicolon is missing that is why I got the error. So let me execute once again enter the value of n let me give the value of n as 6. The factorial of 6 is 720. So this result the factorial of 6 is 720 which is written in main function and here entire logic you are writing in the user defined section. The value whatever you have read for finding a factorial of a given number you have read in the user defined section that is enter the value of n you have read the value of n and the logic has been performed in the user defined section and from there we are returning the value of f back to the function which has called. The function which has called is this factorial and we are returning back the value for this and that value you are going to print here. If at all if you are initializing these variables within the given functions then the scope of those variables within, within the given block will be exited. If you want that variable or an identifier to be accessed throughout the program you are going to write them in the global declaration section. So this is what we call the global declaration section. This is how we can find a factorial of a given number using non void function without parameters. So here uh, we are going to access the values from top to bottom as well as from bottom to top because there is some return of value back to the function. So there is also an upward flow. So this is called as upward flow. We are returning the value of f 
here. So this is called upward flow. This is how the factorial of a given number will be found with the help of non-void function without parameters.